Swanson? Well, I first came to Swanson Hyperbarics because my mom suffered a stroke in July of 2022. And it was the very first thing that we did when she was released from the hospital. Now the hospital said that she wasn't bad enough to be in their hyperbaric chambers, but knowing what was going on with her and the weakness and the numbing, numbing and, and uh, tingling, we wanted to get her in a hyperbaric chamber as soon as possible. Uh, we're very thankful that Lee Swanson brought this to Fargo. It's a wonderful opportunity for people to cure things they don't even know they have wrong with them. So not only has it taken care of my mom's stroke symptoms, but it's also taken care of a lifelong sinus infection that she's never been able to get rid of. And in the last couple of years, she's had um, some IBS issues that have also cleared up while doing those dives. So she had two TIA strokes. They were small strokes on the interior of her right side of her brain. So it was causing left-sided tingling and numbness. And what we noticed was a lot of weakness and fatigue. Um, the tingling was very bothersome to her and that's the nerve damage or the nerves trying to talk and get back to working again. So when we first started bringing her to the hyperbaric chambers, we had to use a wheelchair to get her from the front door to the chamber. And when she'd get out, she'd be tired. Um, she didn't really seem to notice anything specific for the first few dives. And then after that, she was noticing that she had more energy, her, her, her wrinkles were going away, um, she could breathe better, she wasn't sneezing, she wasn't coughing, um, she wasn't having issues with bowel problems that she'd been having that's, um, that plagues so many elderly people. So the, the list is on and on of the things that she was noticing that was getting better along with the symptoms that she had from her stroke. So, I mean, it's, it's a win-win. I don't know why anyone wouldn't go for whatever ailment that you have. So she had the 20 dives, which is recommended for a stroke protocol. She was doing two dives a day for 10 days. And then after that, she took one week off and we wanted her to continue because with these TIAs and her age, it's something that we want to keep ahead of. We don't want to have to chase after these anymore. We want to be ahead of the game. We want to make sure that she's got as much oxygen in that body as possible. So if she is up against another TIA or another smaller stroke or mini strokes, they call them, that we're, that we're on top of it. We don't want to have to play catch up with this again. So she's doing another 20 dives. And then after the 40 dives, we'll reevaluate you know, what type of maintenance program we'd like her to be on. You know, she's better now than she was before her stroke. As far as health-wise and her vitality is, has increased dramatically. Um, and you know that if you live with someone, she lives with us, so we know what she's like on a daily basis. And we just see her basically blossoming and aging backwards, which is nice. <laughs>